Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. So today we're going to have some fun. We're going to walk Angie through the show and we're going to test her tractor knowledge. All right, guys, so I'm gonna pick several tractors. I'm gonna ask Angie questions about them, and we're gonna see how well she does in answering them. Think you can do this? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so let's see how this goes. This, is, this could be very interesting. <laughs> yeah. And rather funny. <laughs> hey, everybody. Why don't you join us for the Keating Tractor Show, August 27th, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. in Liberal, Kansas. You can definitely bring the kiddos. There's gonna be plenty of activities for them to enjoy, including, but not limited to, um, food, of course, dunk tanks. There will be some vendors. Come and meet Dave and I from Crazy D's Equipment. We hope to see you there. Okay, so I got the first question for you. This tractor here behind us, what is it? Case 400. You're right. Thank you. Is it gas or a diesel one? Carburetor, gas. Very good. Thank you. How many horsepower is this tractor? 12. <laughs> nope. 37. Two. Okay, no. Uh, it is pro uh, roughly about a 45 horsepower tractor. Okay. So, but two out of three ain't bad. So, okay. Okay, let's find some more for you. Okay. Okay, so this John Deere D. Yes. Uh, it's an early one. Yes. Why do they have the metal tires like this? Because they didn't have the ability to make rubber wheels that big until 1930 when Alice Chalmers came out with the first rubber first tire for tractors. tractors. So, yeah. okay. Woo! Three All points. Right. All right, I got one more for you. Okay. So it is a John Deere D. Yes. John Deere's are super famous for this. That's Green. Well, no, not that. <laughs> Uh, well, at least the old ones are. Okay. How many cylinders does this engine have? Two. That's why they're called Poppin' Johnny, so yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. Okay. All right. That's Sue. You're doing all right. Okay. All right, Dan. Should we get harder? You're nodding your head yes, get harder. Yep. So this one is going to be a little bit different for her. So, instead of what it is and or why it is so when this tractor was advertised for sale they called these what minneapolis molines that's the that's the brand but what is the what was the uh what was the sales pitch on them uh motor cultivator motor cultivator for yeah replacing the horses they were yeah for replacing the horses so come back here all right so what was this here about so this is really cool because it allowed the farmers to hook up like their horse-drawn equipment to the back of this. So they weren't losing out on all of that, but they were bringing them forward with them into the new yeah, machine. They didn't, they didn't have to replace their equipment. They could... beep, beep. That's the next question for you. Okay. What's that running on? Uh, coal. It's burning steam, coal. Steam, steam. Steam power. Yes. Yeah. So, all right. High five. You're doing good. Let's, all right, time to get tougher. Okay, so we got a diesel John Deere mm -hmm. of the two-cylinder variety. Yes. Back here is another motor. Yes. It's called a pony motor. Yes. What is the purpose of the second motor on a diesel John Deere? Um, the, the littler motor, the pony motor, starts the diesel motor, converts it. But yeah, yeah. Kind you, of, you, you, I think. You, you're basically right. Okay. So you start this motor, and once this motor's running, you can uh, engage uh, a little sl a little sliding gear here on the flywheel, like like where the starter would be on a, on a gas engine, and it would spin that starter, or spin that flywheel, and it starts the diesel motor. Why? I mean, why oh, didn't they just... Because diesels are hard to start. Diesels, okay. there's so much compression with a diesel that the old sand you're throwing the flywheel like you do on an on an on a on a regular John Deere or a regular gas a regular gas starter at the time wasn't strong enough 
to to start it until later on we started doing instead of six volt systems we started doing 12 volt and 24 volt systems okay and then the starters were heavy and duty enough to be able to turn a diesel motor yeah, the, to start it yeah, yeah very good okay all right we're learning we're yes. getting better and better by the minute yes all right here's one for you let's see if you can get this one why were crawler tractors like this popular on, on a lot of farms, especially out in California and orchards and stuff? So there'd be less compression of the soil and there'd be more ground, more ground coverage. More, yeah, you get more, so you, you got this whole- more tra Better yeah. traction, okay, it's better traction and less compression of the soil so it didn't pack it down as Pack much. it down, very good, Yeah. You're doing good. So, all right, uh, we got a tractor over here. It has a piece of equipment on it. I'm going to ask you what it is and see if you can tell me what it is. Okay. Hello, here we have an Oliver Row Crop Tractor with a cultivator attached. That's what I was going to ask you. How many rows is this cultivator? Two. Two row. Where does the rows go through? How do you know it's a two row cultivator? Because there's space right here for the row and space right here for the road and not damage the crops. Not damage the crop. Very good. That's exactly what you got. You're this doing all right. Pound this it. There you go. Blow it up. All right, let's do one more. And I think, I think you proved, I think you proved your knowledge. Okay. So, all right, right here we have a John Deere. Mm -hmm. It's got three point on the back. Yes. But what was the first tractor in the United States that offered three point? Not, um, it can, 1939, um, 9N, 9N Ford. 9N Ford. So, mm -hmm. and then some of these tractors have two point on the back, especially mm -hmm. some of the internationals. What makes it a two point system instead of a three point system? Just an extra point of attachment. Yeah, so yeah. So yeah, well yeah, three point. I feel like it's safer yeah, to this, have three more. I mean, is that right or? So on a three-point system, you have the top offer. link. On a two-point system, you're just you just have the bottom, the bottom, the arms, just these bottom arms. So they, so you you usually like on an international, you uh, have points that lock in and make it a solid lifting point. So on on a three-point system, the pins go through. Like we've learned, remember how you learned how to hook up the plow? Uh -huh. So those go through on on the pins. And then the top link hooks up, and that's what steadies the, kind of okay. gives the equipment steady as you pick it up. So, okay. but anyways, you did pretty good. I think Thank we you. had some fun there. Uh, we you. had, we went through quite a few of the tractors, got quite a bit of the stuff. I think you did all right. Thank you. Another fist pound, blow it up. Yeah. You forgot to blow it up. Oh, you did so good. It doesn't blow it up, you guys. Okay, there blow you go. It up. There you go. No, that's not how you blow it up. Stop like this. Make a fist. Okay. You gotta make the noise. There you okay. go. All right, guys, thanks for coming in. We'll see you next time.